you could not have chosen a better venue for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in at 223 pounds and has a reach of 70. Tommy the Duke Morrison. The Smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles with Muhammad Ali. This bout is scheduled for 12. We welcome you to this beautiful. Then he said this fight would never happen, and yet, here it is, and here we go. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Lands with the right counter. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. left scores nice counter shot this fighter told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout he doesn't consider it a real victory that's the mentality he has how you deal with a slugger you've got to use brain over ball ball in a match door pop jab move get the mind there nice exchanges from both men in this round Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Nice counter. Is this the beginning of the end for this legend? He is down hard. I don't know if he's going to beat the count here. Running out of time. back up on their feet but I'm not sure why great counter right hand there Frazier is in trouble again for round two. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? Can you knock that and you're coming back from that? That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. He just misses with that jab. here he's taking a good look at it it appears that the moment of trouble has passed at least for now he fails to score with that left hook hey, well, well, wait a minute he caught him clean Just weather this tornado coming at him. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. And he misses with that jab. Exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Ah. 
That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Frazier covering up. He's got nowhere to go. it up and this fight continues you're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy he wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away oh man you've got swarm in your face you've got to try and push him off make him go into the rope you've got to sometimes fight fire with fire put him low on the blind side of the referee get him angry you got to swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You've got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because they will keep punching until that referee said stop. There's a right hand. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. His legs are gone, but somehow he's still in this fight. Here we go to the fourth round. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? I have no idea what they have left. What, how? How do you come back from something like that? And twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Gets out of the way of that left hand. Both men step back for just a moment. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Trouble again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.